लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड इवनिंग इट्स माय होप यू हैड ए फंडास्टिक वीकेंड माइन टू वाज द बेस्ट टुडे वी आर येट बैक विद अनदर अनदर वेरी इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच मेनी पीपल हैव बीन पुशिंग मी टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट इट्स अ वेरी वाइड टॉपिक and i'll make sure i cover it as much as i can and to the best of my knowledge before we start let me start by appreciating you people for the support you have shown me we had at almost at 8.5000 subscribers road to 10000 subscribers and i do appreciate your support may god bless you all For, so for those who have not subscribed make sure you subscribe like share and comment and after subscribing make sure you put the notification bell on so that if we upload a video youtube will automatically notify you so today we are going to talk about hemorrhoids hemorrhoids is what one of the of the diseases affecting the community at large what are hemorrhoids another name for hemorrhoids is what we call piles so if you 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 hear somebody talking about piles or hemorrhoids he or she is just talking about the same thing the same and one thing so hemorrhoids are swollen and inflamed the key words here swollen and inflamed veins swollen and inflamed veins in the rectum and anus that cause discomfort and bleeding caused by straining straining during bowel movement and uh, bowel movement or defecation and especially in people who are a uh, pregnant or obese people hemorrhoids or piles are swollen and inflamed veins in the rectum or anus that cause discomfort and bleeding caused by or as a result of straining during bowel movements obesity and pregnancy different people can uh, explain hemorrhoids or piles in different passions or fashions sorry another description of the of hemorrhoid or pile is a uh, lumps inside and around your bottom or anus which are all you can also say that they are swollen veins in your anus and lower abdomen hemorrhoids or piles can also be defined as abnormal swelling or enlargement of the vascular anal cushions can also be defined as abnormal swellings or enlargement of the vascular ano cushions co- that cause bright red rectal bleeding upon defecation i hope you get that hemorrhoids or piles can develop and this is very important hemorrhoids or piles can develop inside or what we call internal hemorrhoids or under the skin around the anus that is what we call external hemorrhoids and all thing i think we, uh, we can simply try to show this eh? i don't know I, i hope you can see this eh? let's assume this is the rectum eh? so if it, it develops here inside the rectum this is an internal hemorrhoid or pile and this is an external pile that de- develops under skin under the skin around the anus 
this is an external hemorrhoid oil pile this is an internal you can see this one is inside the, 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 the rectum this one is outside the rectum so through that I know you, you, you can understand well what hemorrhoid or the difference between internal and external hemorrhoids so a point to note nearly three out of four adults will have hemorrhoids from time to time they have a number of causes they have a number of causes but often the cause is unknown often the main cause is unknown let's look about the symptoms or how you can tell that this person is having hemorrhoids the symptoms or the signs will depend on the type of hemorrhoid as we have discussed above according to the picture i've shown you there are signs which will belong to an internal hemorrhoid and others which will be belong to an external hemorrhoid let's see about the external hemorrhoids external hemorrhoids are under the skin around your anus and signs and symptoms include the following one itching or irritation in the anal region a feeling of itching or irritation in the anal region in earlier stages most of the people confuse this with uh, what we call uh, worms or what we call in kiswahili minyo so when somebody feels that itchiness he or she may think it's a minyo or those interstitial worms so that is one of the signs number two we have pain or discomfort number three we have swelling around the the, the anus and also we have in uh, later stages we have bleeding so there are the signs which are associated with external hemorrhoids one itchiness or irritation around the anal region number two pain or discomfort number three swelling around the anus and number four bleeding maybe during um, or when you are passing out stools let's talk about the signs of internal hemorrhoids above we have talked about ex uh, external hemorrhoids and how will you know that a, a person is having an internal hemorrhoid or pile so internal hemorrhoids lie as the word internal indicates so internal hemorrhoids lie inside the keyword lie inside the rectum you can't see or feel them they are inside you can't see or feel them and they rarely cause discomfort they rarely cause discomfort because they are inside but straining or irritation when passing out stool can cause the following they rarely cause a uh, discomfort but straining or irritation when passing stool can cause the following one painless bleeding yani you may be bleeding but there is no pain painless bleeding during bowel movements or defecation this means that you might notice small a uh, small uh, uh, spots of bright red blood on your tissue after passing out stools number two uh, a hemorrhoid to push through the anal opening you might see the blood in your tissue after passing out stool and the second sign is that an hemorrhoid can push through the anal opening or what we call a prolapsed hemorrhoid or protruding hemorrhoid resulting in pain and irritation i hope you are we are together and this marks the end of our first video about hemorrhoids we are still continuing with the same topic so guys let's continue subscribing sharing 
commenting on our videos so that they might they may go viral and if you have given you a topic we discuss just be patient with me it's not always easy so let's meet in the next video